Hello, sports fans and football fans and XFL fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And hey, got my defender's hat on because guess what happened? The defenders are undefeated still. 6-0 and oh, the defenders are. But let's get back to recapping the rest of the week. Because you know... I am a Defenders fan, I gotta put that plug in, but yes, they are undefeated. But we, uh, the first game of the week, though, last week, uh, was on Saturday, March 25th, and that was the Sea Dragons at the Guardians, and the Sea Dragons were successful in that game, and they uh, won by the score of 26-19, a touchdown separated the two teams on that one. Uh, the next game was the Battle Hawks at the Vipers, and the Battle Hawks manhandled the Vipers. I called both of those games correctly. The next game you got is the Brahmas. The Brahmas went into Texas and took on the Renegades. And, unfortunately, the Brahmas won because I thought that the Renegades at home were going to win, and that is the lone game that I got wrong this week. I was 3-1 and one this week. And then, of course, you've got Monday Night Football. Not the traditional NFL Monday Night Football, but the XFL Monday Night Football. And that was the Roughnecks against the Defenders. The Defenders were at home, and they were victorious, and as I said, they went to 6-0. and oh. So, I got that game right because I called my defenders winning. So the uh, the weekly record for me last week was 3-1. and one. And what that does for me on the year is it makes me 19-5. and five. I've picked 19 out of 24 games correctly in this XFL season, great as it is. And a lot of the teams, a lot of the games are good games, um... You still got here, you got the Sea Dragons and the Guardians. The Guardians, not a very good team, but it was a 26-19 score. Touchdown separated them. Uh, The Brahmas and the Renegades, 15-9. And then the Roughnecks and the Defenders in a shootout, 37-26. But enough about Week 6. Let's move on to Week 7 because you want my Week 7 picks. I think you're waiting for that. Especially from a guy that's 19-5 on the year. So uh, the first game is going to be Friday, the 31st of March, and that's going to be the Sea Dragons at the Renegades. And I'm going with the Sea Dragons here. The Sea Dragons are 4-2. and two. They're a very good team. Um, not as good as the Defenders, but they are a good team. So I'm going to go with the Sea Dragons on the road to, de- to defeat the Renegades. And then um, on Saturday, you've got two games. The first of those being the Brahmas and the Vipers. Now, this is a tough game to call. Um, The Vipers are 1-5. The Brahmas are 2-4. Neither team is really good relative to the league. Um, But the Vipers are at home. I'm going to go with the Vipers. I'm going to take the Vipers in this one only because they're at home. That's the deciding factor for me in that. And then you got my defenders going in to take on the Guardians. Six and O versus O and six. Who do you think I'm picking? All right. Well, I'm a Defenders fan anyway. So yeah. I'm gonna take the Defenders in that game on the road to defeat the Guardians. Remember, it's only a ten game season, and the Defenders are six and O. And then the last game of the week is gonna be on Sunday, and that's gonna be the Battle Hawks going up against the Roughnecks. And in this game, you know, this is none. <clears throat> this is another tough one. As I grab my Defenders coffee mug, this is another tough one. Um, but I'm going to go with the Roughnecks at home, only because they're at home. That's my deciding factor in this one. But both teams are very good relative to the league. So. So there you go. Let's recap my picks. I've got the Sea Dragons over the Renegades. I've got the Vipers at home over the Brahmas. I got the Defenders easily handling the Guardians. And then I've got the Roughnecks at home beating the Battlehawks to go to 5-2 and two potentially. 
And so uh, that is it. What do you guys think of my picks? How are you liking this XFL? I think a lot of the games are very competitive. Even the Guardians are starting to play better football. Um, They haven't won yet, but they are starting to play better football. So, um, yeah, I'd be interested to see what you think. Leave a comment below. Give me a thumbs up on the video. And if you haven't subscribed and you like content like this, because I do this for the NFL all season long, then, hey, subscribe, and uh, you'll get more great content like this. But for right now, that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.